Hey, River Review. Today is Thursday, December 8th, and we are on a day one schedule. Maybe two. Maybe six. I don't know. Attention all students in grades 9 through 12. Get excited for this year's annual dodgeball tournament. It will be on Thursday, December 22nd, excuse me, during 8th and 9th period. To sign up, you must be a part of a team of six. Registration is $5 per person. Sign up with one of your senior class officers, Patrick, Alyssa, Ziad, or Hannah, or with Mrs. Kavortek in room 216. The registration deadline is Monday, December 19th at noon. Don't dodge this chance to win Duncan gift cards and bragging rights. <laughs> dodge. The Bible Club will be meeting tomorrow, Friday morning, in the gym. All students are welcome to attend. Again, Bible Club will be meeting tomorrow morning, Friday morning, in the gym before first period. Eight Riverview students competed in the annual History Bowl at the Heinz History Center last week, and both teams came away with awards. A team of 7th grade students, including Sophia Yankee, Elise Baer, Ayla Mellers, and Emily Strife, placed second overall in the event, which involved researching various exhibits on Pittsburgh history. Amazingly, the eighth grade team of Ryland Ogardowski, Juliette Brun, Blake Huffman, and Nick Pencrot were the overall champions, the first Riverview team to win the event in many years. Congratulations to all students involved. This past week, over 25 students participated in the annual junior high chess tournament at Riverview. In seventh grade, Elise Baer earned first place, while Dom Del Rosso placed second. Lucas Bauer, Anthony Sambis, and Oscar Smith finished in third, fourth, and fifth place, respectively. In the very competitive eighth grade event, Max Orban won the championship in a close match with Dennis Underwood, who was runner-up. Rounding out the 8th grade team were Dimitri Hong in 3rd place, Sydney Vespi in 4th, and Noah Hunter in 5th. Both teams will represent Riverview next week in the Northern Area Chess Tournament at North Hills High School. Nice job, everyone. It was a great team win for the Lady Raiders basketball team versus Montour Propel at the season home opener on Tuesday night. After the half, Katarina Sambis was on fire right out of the gate, scoring 13 points of her game-high 21 in the third. The Lady Raiders never looked back. Scoring included Sambis with 21 points, Shaparo with 8 points, Bauer with 4 points, Sienna Daly with 3 points, uh, Ava Blickendurfer with 2 points, Fulpe with 2 points, and Brianna Long with 2 points. Uh, congratulations on a nice win overall. Please consider taking part in Student Council and SAD's Toys for Tots Toy Drive event this Friday evening. The Elf Movie Night will be occurring Friday, December 9th from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock p.m. in the high school library. We'll be opening the front office doors at 7 o'clock p.m. and the movie Elf will begin exactly at 7.15. Students can wear their coziest set of PJs and bring small blankets and or pillows to enjoy the film. Student Council and SAD will be providing the hot chocolate and popcorn. 
Tickets for the admittance will be either $5 or a new unwrapped Toys for Tots gift, which should cost between $10 and $15. Students who want more information about Toys for Tots can look up information on the website. If anyone has any questions, they can see Mrs. Walsh or Mr. Palo. Uh, attention any students, if you're looking for a part-time job, uh, shoveling snow on completing small chores for an elderly couple who live on 4th Street in Oakmont uh, between Pennsylvania and Virginia, please see Mrs. Kavortek for details if you're looking for a small job around town. And finally, there's a junior high student council meeting next Monday, December 12th from 225 to 3 o'clock in Mrs. Arnett's room. Uh, all junior high students are welcome to attend. That is all for today's news and announcements, everyone. I'm Mr. O'Malley. Please remember to stand for the pledge and have a great day.